Hey Daisies, it's Tiffany here and today I am going to set up a goal page for the daily section of my planner. Um, I'm basically just going to put, um, I'm going to cover up those words and um, put down some goals that I have for the month. Um, it's at the top of the section and it'll be the first page that I see. And these are just a few things that I want to uh, remember for the month. And um, happy June, everybody, by the way. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the planner add-on kit and using um, some die cuts for that. So thanks for joining me today. And I'll just kind of jump in when there's something to explain. And then after I do this part, I will also be setting up a weekly gratitude section. So uh, I'll be setting that up as well for um, for June. So stick with me. So I'm just, I don't know how you guys do your planning, but I normally don't sketch something out. I will just kind of pull a kit out that I like and kind of move things around the page to, to see what looks good. I think everybody has their own system, so whatever works for you <clears throat> is always the right thing to do. I uh, tend to kind of be drawn to certain items in the kits because of maybe their color or the font on something, and so I'll, I will kind of go through, it's always fun to go through the kits every month and see uh, what I want to get started with. So this time, um, I'm just setting up a goals page. So I'm just going to kind of move things around the page and see what looks good. And I'll be pulling from, um, in this video overall, um, I am using a lot of different sticker kits oh, overall. Um, on this page, I think I'm pretty much sticking with the planner add-on kit, but but um, this month I decided to get the Daisy Week stickers, the classic um, sticker kit, and um, what else? The let's see, the planner sticker kit, and um, well, you know what? I'm going to link to all the kits that I that I used. Uh, below in the description of the uh, video, so be sure to check that out. And here I'm just kind of looking through to see what might inspire me, to see what I might want to do, but I think I pretty much end up sticking to the, sticking with the, uh, the planner add-on kit. And then um, I might add, oh, I'm going to be adding some transparent dots as bullet points uh, for my goals on this page and that comes from the planner sticker kit here I'm just trying a few things to see what I want to do so I am going to go, I'm going to um, add the word goals using um, the alphabet stickers from the classic planner sticker kit. So that is one item that's not from the planner add-on kit. So that's what I'm going to be, um, I'm going to add um, the word goals to that label that's sitting there, but I'm not quite there yet. And I don't know what happens if you guys do videos. One thing that happens is I try to take care of my nails for the most part, but I hate it when just before I'm taping a video, sometimes my nails have been um, splitting, like maybe in the middle, on the sides of the nail, like mid-nail. So 
I just uh, covered it up with a band-aid. <laughs> Plus, I don't want to catch my nail on anything. So, anyway. Life happens, but it happens to me a lot around the times that I'm supposed to be filming filming videos. Oh, well. So here, I'm about to um, write the word goals. And I'm just trying to see if it's going to fit in the space. And um, I will, I think it ends up being kind of tight there, but it, but it fits. And to apply it, I've got that magnetic, um, that magnet keeping the label in place so I can get those letters down. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little bit hoarse today. So I'm getting my goals down and then I'll be adding um, transparent dots kind of as a, to kind of um, highlight the different steps that I'm going to, um, well, different goals that I hope to achieve by the end of the month. And for all you guys that have asked about my cat Crash, he's doing fine and he's going to be, um, we're trying to get him settled uh, with my mother-in-law. Um, it's a long story, but um, basically Crash came to live with us. He used to live with our neighbor, but our neighbor moved and he had kind of adopted us. So we told our neighbor that we would look for a home for him. And uh, we already have our own cats. And so it's a pretty much of a full house. And so my mother-in-law's retired and has a huge house and um, Crash, we're going to get him uh, settled into his new home this month. And he's just been recovering from some surgery, but he's doing great. So anyway, for those that asked. And now I'm moving on to uh, a week of gratitude. I'm prepping some pages. Um, this is my personal size planner. And I use the weekly section most of the time for gratitude. Sometimes I mix it up, for, but for the most part, I use it for gratitude because it's a small space. It's something that it it um, is something that I can do quickly, and um, makes me think about things that I'm really happy about or, or that that I'm thankful for. 
So I've already started and already prepped the pages with numbers and a few stickers as you can see. And now I'm going to add a few items more. Um, I love the transparent stickers and a lot of times if they're all words, I usually will try to set a word above one of the lines so kind of like the word go sits on that yellow stripe there. I don't know, I just like doing it that way. And I'm going to try out a few other stickers. Um, I'm going to be using those same alphas again to write out the word thanks at the top. Um, where it says week of at the top of the page, instead of writing in the um, dates the week's covering, I'm going to write the word thanks. So um, I think I'm going to try to sometimes I will use a pencil to kind of write a, a line so I can uh, make sure the words um, end up in a good in a straight line and then sometimes I just wing it um, I think I might end up actually not using the ruler here but but I thought about it <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wing it this time um, so anyway um, I'm gonna write out the word um, thanks at the top And um, I'll jump in here uh, as other things come up. Okay, so I'm not winging it. <laughs> I did use the ruler. And I'm using the memory keeping sticker kit here uh, to pull out a few words. Um, this is my first time getting the memory keeping sticker kit and the uh, Daisy Week sticker kit. I'm glad I did. Um, I had a little extra money to spend this month, so I just thought I would take a look at those kits, and so I'll be using uh, I'll be using them here. And I try to pick something general since I'm writing things I'm thankful for. I don't know exactly what I'm going to come up each day, come up with each day. So, um, you know, be present as I have up there, you know, is always good advice. And I think kind of being present also makes you thankful. It kind of includes being thankful too for good things that happen. If you're present, you can appreciate what's happening now. So it just seemed like a general sticker that I could, that would still work out. And sometimes as far as when, he, when I'm writing my things I'm thankful for, uh, to be, to be uh, honest, sometimes I write about that day. Other times I'll just recollect, recollect other things that have happened, you know, within the last few days that may have, maybe I had forgotten to write, write about. So to me, it still is, to me, I still think of it as, um, authentic because it's something that's happened recently and something that I'm, I'm thankful for nonetheless, even if it doesn't happen on that exact day. 
So it kind of just, just depends. But I kind of like the personal size because I don't feel overwhelmed. I can always, you know, take out another sheet of paper or a big, bigger sheet of paper and, or write in a separate journal. But this is kind of just fun, a fun practice. And I think the more you're thankful for, the more you're thinking of it, the more things you're thankful for in general. So that's, that's why I do it. And I also wanted to take a moment to say that um, if you're a first time subscriber to Coco Daisy, please put my name in the checkout section uh, of uh, when you're checking out and tell them that Tiffany Valentine sent you and you'll get a discount on a future purchase. So I wanted to, to tell you that and I also have written that below in the uh, description of this video. And if you're you're watching, I was wondering if you have the time, let me know what your uh, planning style is. Do you sketch something out or do you kind of move, you pull things out and just kind of um, design as you go, which is what I'm doing, <laughs> which is what I'm doing here. I almost never sketch things out, to be honest with you. I just kind of move things around and I know what, somehow I just kind of know when I'm when it's done I, I kind of like to have a like a mix of um, I like decoration but I also like white space also but the idea with this is that it's a personal size planner I'm kind of keeping it short um, I'll either write in you know a little paragraph or a line about something that happened and then some days I will uh, use a checklist as well and then just write down several things so it just kind of depends. And here I have skipped through and pulled some things out of the Daisy Weeks uh, sticker kit, which I'm getting for the first time. And those those checklists there that, that you see, that one, and then there's another one are from that kit. And so these days uh, I'll write down a few things I'm thankful for. Um, and keep it short and then I still also have some some space there to write a few sentences as well but I'll write in things like you know had a good cup of coffee you know saw birds heard birds singing etc so thank you guys so much for joining me today I really appreciate your time if you have questions leave them for me and I'll get back to you in the comments section thank you so much and have a great day